Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss about Laplacian filter and its implementation in MATLAB. Okay, first we will be discussing little bit theory, background of the filter, how we can derive that and then I will be going to MATLAB implementation. So first we need to feel the idea, feel the concept. Okay, so Laplacian filter is basically widely used to detect the edges only. Like I have discussed Sobel edge detection, pre wheat edge detection, Kenny edge detection. This is also one kind of edge detection. Now you just think our previous video where I have discussed these three Sobel, Kenny and uh, pre wheat edge detection. There I have shown you that this, that is basically calculating gradient. Okay. That is only single derivative. There is first derivative, not nth derivative where n is greater than 1. Okay. Using the first derivative itself, we are able to calculate the gradient and edges, right? Now, Laplacian filter uses the concept of second derivative, or second order derivative, already which you have studied in your 11, 12 and uh, basic engineering mathematics courses. Now, what is second derivative? I hope you know. Now, let us check why we require second order derivative instead of first order derivative. What is the problem in that? So suppose I am having one image where the intensity jump is from a particular intensity level to other level and it is having suppose slope of m. So this is one kind of edge is appearing because here there is frequency is changing. Now if you take the first order derivative you will be having this kind of shape where there is slope there will be some value and rest of the part it will be zero. And what I have told you that we make certain threshold. Okay. Suppose maybe this is the threshold. Okay. If the first order derivative goes above threshold, then we will understand that at this point and at this point, these two parts, edges are basically coming. The transition is happening. Now the problem is that adjustment in the threshold. Sometime we may require this threshold. Sometime we may require this, this threshold. So we need to adjust the threshold properly to get the edge. But this problem can be removed if you take simply second order derivative. Second order derivative means derivative of the first derivative. So if you take derivative of the first order derivative, you will be having this kind of shape where there will be one delta function or spike where this transition is happening that is going up and there where it is going down, here one downward direction, one spike is appearing. Now, see, you can simply tell uh, by looking at the figure itself that yes, there is tran transition, right? So, how you can tell uh, with respect to programming point of view? Simple zero crossing. See how my curve is going. Second order derivative, it is going up. Then it is uh, at that point itself, it is going down. That is, width is very small. Then here, it is like this going. So basically in this particular part you can clearly say that there is zero crossing. If I draw broadly or if I zoom this particular figure I will be having this kind of shape. So zero crossing is happening. So by detecting the zero crossing in the second order derivative we can say that there are some edges are appearing. Now see this particular algorithm is more appropriate than the algorithm which we have followed using first order derivative because there we need to keep track of the threshold properly but here no need to think about that simple check zero crossing if present all right that means their edges are appearing so that for edge detection we prefer the second order derivative concept now we need to think about the second order derivative of image okay so if you consider our Sobel edge detection or pre wheat edge detection so fundamentally what we have done, I am writing pre wheat only, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, because this is the intensity change, that is uh, this side minus this side we are doing. So in simple word, in one dimension, what we are doing basically, suppose our central coordinate is our original pixel f of x, y, then we are computing uh, if you consider in one dimensional case f of x plus 1 minus of f of x minus 1. Okay. So this is one kind of differentiation which is called central differentiation. 
Similar to that, there is forward differentiation, where that is f of x plus 1 minus of f of x. Okay, this is called forward differentiation. Then there is backward differentiation also, f of x minus of f of x minus 1, like that. These three are majorly very, very important, uh, widely used differentiation technique, forward differentiation, central differentiation, backward differentiation. If you have taken applied numerical method course in your engineering, then you might know this. Okay. So, for Laplacian case, we'll, we are going to use this one. Okay. And this one too. I will be showing you the derivation. Let us go to the derivation. So, let me just discard the ink. And here we come to our derivation of the filter. So simple as I have told you, del f del x. That is, image is two dimensional. So with respect to x and with respect to y, both direction we have to take derivative, right? So consider for x direction, del f del x equal to f of x plus one minus f of x. This is what forward differentiation. Now what will be second order derivative? Del square f by del x square. That is nothing but del del x of del f del x. Okay. That is del del x of first order derivative with respect to x. Simply, you can put in this equation and you can simply say f of x plus 1 minus f of x minus of f of x minus f of x minus 1. Right. This is very simple. I hope you can understand easily. So, here there is the forward differentiation minus backward differentiation. Kind like, like that kind also we can say. So, if you simplify, you will be getting f of x plus 1 plus f of x minus 1 minus of 2 f of x, right? So, this is the second order derivative of uh, uh, second order derivative of one dimension. Now, consider image that is two dimension. So, here not only x we have to consider, we have to consider y axis also. So, del square f by del x square that is second order derivative with respect to x direction will be f of x plus 1 comma y plus of f of x minus 1 comma y minus of 2 f of x comma y. Okay. What I have done, very simple to understand, just add one more y coordinate with all the terms. Okay. Because that is in two dimension and y coordinate will be constant when you are taking derivative with respect to x, right? Similarly, using this, you can write the y direction derivative, that is double derivative, del square f by del y square is equal to f of x comma y plus 1 plus f of x comma y minus 1 minus of 2 f of x comma y. Very simple. I hope you have understood this. And del square is nothing but second derivative of image. And no need to think about those terms that is del square f by del x del y or del square f by del y del x because del y del x will not appear. That will become 0. Whenever you are taking uh, derivative with respect to y, consider uh, x as constant. Whenever we are taking derivative with respect to x, consider y as constant. That is, our, uh, if you take image as two dimension, then double derivative of image will be del square f by del x square plus del square f by del y square. That's all. No need to think about del square f by del x del y or del square f by del y del x. Okay? Because as I have told you, that will be zero. So, del square that is second derivative of image is del square f by del x square plus del square f by del y square simply put the two equation f of x plus 1 comma y plus f of x minus 1 comma y plus f of x comma y plus 1 plus f of x comma y minus 1 minus of 4 f of x comma y so this is what we have got now our uh, if we want to implement this in image pixels, so we need to uh, apply convolution. There is some kind of filter marks we need to achieve from this equation. Directly this equation obviously we cannot apply on image. See, f of x comma y is our central pixel. If you consider this as central pixel, then you can write this equation like this. Okay. So, see, this is our central pixel which is having coefficient minus 4 and this is x this is x coordinate, this is y, so this will be y minus 1, this will be y plus 1, this will be x minus 1, this will be x plus 1, right? So now you can check, see, this coordinate, that is x comma y minus 1. If you check x comma y minus 1 having coefficient 1, so I have put 1 here, okay? Then this coefficient, x minus 1 comma y, x minus 1 comma y is having coefficient 1, so I have put here 1. Then f of x plus 1 comma y, f of x plus 1 comma y also having 1 coefficient. Then here, f of x comma y plus 1, f of x comma y plus 1 where, see, 
here also coefficient is 1. So I have put here 1. And here minus 4 y because minus 4 into f of x comma y. And rest parts are 0 because that is not present in the equation itself. So this filter we have got which is which we can use like mask for our image processing and we are ready to go with the coding part. See very simple TLC clear all close all x equal to im read moon comma tif i have taken moon uh, image which is present in matlab database itself then figure im show x let me show you the popular moon image okay very beautiful natural figure and then title is original image i am giving i am giving the mask 0 1 0 1 minus 4 1 0 1 0 then output equal to im filter x comma g i am filtering that and figure i am show output so what i'll be getting i'll be getting only the edges and point to be noted uh, this is very important point related to laplace and filter that it is used to detect edges and edges are basically high frequency components so this is also kind of high high pass filter right now if i run this code i'll be having two image so this is our original image and this is our edge detected output if you closely observe, you can clearly see how beautifully it has detected all the edges. Okay, although it is looking completely dark, but if you just observe closely, this is this is able to calculate the edges. Okay. For one more image, I can show you circuit board dot tif, which is again one uh, image present in MATLAB database itself. If I run this, see how beautifully it it is able to calculate the edges, right? So this is how you can apply Laplacian filter to detect edges. Okay, you can apply for your colored image also, same algorithm. Okay, like I can show you with one example. Suppose I am taking the paper. So papers dot png and if I run, see, I'll be having this beautiful paper image present in MATLAB database and if you check this output see how beautifully it has it is able to detect the edges right so this is what about Laplacian filter I hope you have understood the concept because concept is the most important part if you able to understand the concept which is algorithm for this Laplacian filter you can write the code by your own okay so this is all for my this video same code will be posted in the description box also if you want you can check there thank you for watching